Today I'm so excited because I will bring you along on a tour of a Jewish kitchenware store showing you what is so special about this Orthodox Jewish store, including five things you will only find in a kosher kitchen store. If you have been here for a while, first and foremost, thank you for coming back to spend some time with me. It's so nice to see you again. And if you're new, hi, my name is Sarah Malka, and on my channel, I share all facets of my Orthodox Sephardic Jewish life as a full-time working mom with small kiddos. So please don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let me put on a pretty tichel and let's jump into it. After driving to the next city in the heart of the Hasidic community, we arrive to the kitchenware store. When you look at it from the outside, there is nothing special about this kitchen store. But when you see the mezuzah on the doorpost, it is a telltale sign that you are in a Jewish store. When you walk in the store, the first thing you will see are these very special cookbooks. As you already know if you have been here with me for a while, as Orthodox Jews we cook and bake quite a bit, whether for the week, Shabbat and all the Jewish holidays. These amazing cookbooks are specific to our needs as they have not only the usual sections like appetizers, soups, desserts, but they also have special separate sections for Shabbat, for meat, for dairy dishes or fish dishes. As Orthodox Jews, we do not mix meat and milk together. We do not mix meat and fish together. And for us Sephardic Jews, we do not mix fish and milk together. So these kind of kosher cookbooks are fantastic because their recipes are delicious and easy to make, but also they take in consideration all our needs and contrary to traditional non-kosher cookbooks, we can use the recipes as is without trying to figure out how to convert a non-kosher recipe to a kosher one by swapping the ingredients and measures. Next to the cookbooks, we have the Shabbat lamp. We already saw them in our kosher grocery store tour. We use these special Shabbat lamps because we cannot turn on or off lights during Shabbat or the Jewish holidays. So these lamps are so useful because the light is left turned on before Shabbat and by turning the cover, it lets the light come out or not. When we travel during Shabbat in a non-Jewish hotel, we use these little rechargeable travel Shabbat lamps. They also have this version like a little treasure chest that is so cute, as well as these kosher bulbs that work according to the same principle as the first big Shabbat lamp with a lever that hides and reveals the light so any lamp can be turned in a Shabbat lamp. The next thing you will find in every kosher kitchen store are items to elevate or beautify our Shabbat or holiday table, like these beautiful serving bowls, glassware, and as you can see, some people prefer a more modern design and some prefer classic designs with gold and silver trimming. And of course, none of these extras are obligatory to celebrate Shabbat or the holidays. They are just there to make Shabbat and any Jewish holidays that that much more special and magical. Personally, I have been looking at this beautiful wine cara for such a long time, but I'm always on the fence. What do you think? Would it be a nice addition to our Shabbat table? Let me know in the comments below. And if the majority of you says yes, we should buy it, then I will feature it in an upcoming video. Next to the stunning glassware section, you see the first item you will only find in the Jewish kitchenware store, and that is bridal wrapped gifts. These gifts are usually given during the engagement party, once an engagement has been announced to the community, and they often include beautiful kitchenware, cookbooks, glassware, and so much more that the new couple will use on Shabbat and the holidays. And on a side note, presents for the bride and groom, or kala and chatan, 
as we say it in Hebrew, are usually brought at the engagement party called Avort for our Ashkenazi brothers and Lechaim for Sephardim. Sometimes the present will be brought at the henna ceremony that takes place during the festivities surrounding the Sephardic wedding. And if you want to know more about what happens in the Jewish Orthodox wedding, I made a video where I bring you to an actual Orthodox Sephardic Jewish wedding where I explain all the rituals and the ceremony and I will leave the link above and in the description box below for you to watch it after this video. Another item you will see in an Orthodox Jewish kitchenware store are tons and tons of beautiful white tablecloth. We use white tablecloth on Shabbat because it is a reminder of the dew that covered the crown when we received the manna in the desert for 40 years. Another common item you will see in a Jewish kitchenware store will be heavy-duty thick plastic tablecloth. They come in all sizes and style. We personally use the transparent one to protect our white tablecloth for Shabbat as they keep our white tablecloth white and make cleaning up so easy. What you will also see in a Jewish kitchenware store is a lot a lot of bakeware, as we love everything sweet, whether baklava, babka, cake, muffins, pie, name it, we love it. So you will find muffin tins, pie dishes, as well as these unique challah pans. These are oblong baking dish where we put our braided challah dough to let them rise and bake in. These molds really help to make the highest challah, and of course they come in all sizes. Speaking about challah mold, we also have the silicone challah mold. To use them, no braiding is necessary, you just plop the challah dough in the mold, bake it, and voila! When you came on a tour of my Orthodox Sephardic kosher kitchen, you saw that we have five sets of dishes, including one for meat, one for milk, and one for Shabbat. So as you can imagine, in a Jewish kosher kitchenware store, you will find many sorts of dish sets, including what we call weekday dish sets, that are more plain, like these two sets, which are already color-coded. One red set for meat, and one blue set for milk. The different colored dish sets helps us avoid mixing milk and meat, which is a big no-no as Orthodox Jews. Many of you asked me after seeing our kosher kitchen tour, how can people with limited budget or space can manage to have a kosher kitchen? And part of the answer is that there are no obligation whatsoever to have five sets of dishes. A simple Dollar Tree kitchenware is fantastic and so affordable. So for about $20, you can have easily two sets of dishes, one for milk and one for meat, and use them for the weekday, Shabbat, and the holidays. You can also be vegan or vegetarian or follow a full carnivore diet, and therefore, by entirely eliminating one category, whether milk or meat, out of your diet and out of your kitchen, there's no more issue of mixing milk and meat in your kitchen. Do not forget that you can also use paper and plastic plates, which leads me to the item number two that you will only find in a Jewish kitchenware store, and that is a plethora of reusable fancy plastic dishes, cups, and flatware. These dishes are amazing as they are fancy and they last for such a long time. They are super affordable, they offer a great alternative to more expensive regular porcelain plates and bowls, as well as flatware. And as a super bonus here in Canada, most of the plastic plates are 100% recyclable. And on a side note, when I was in med school, I used my plastic plates for years and they were absolutely amazing. Of course, this could not be a kosher kitchenware store without the color-coded dish towels. Usually red will be used for meat, blue for milk, and yellow, green, or black for parv. These are so high quality, and I have been using them for more than 17 years, thank God, and they are still, like, brand new. 
As I previously mentioned, we cook a lot as Orthodox Jews and therefore Jewish kitchen stores will have amazing knives that are super sharp and they stay sharp for such a long time and they are totally worth the investment. These knives are part of my top three best knives. They are from the brand Victorinox and I love the pointy tip and serrated blade model. The other brand that I love are these from Kosher Cook. They are also color coded and I love them so much. As in any regular kitchenware store, you will also find all the kitchen utensils and gadgets you can imagine, like my favorite U-shaped peeler, with the particularity that all the utensils and gadgets are color-coded as once again, we would never use a meat utensil to mix a hot pot of cheese pasta, for example. In this Jewish kitchen store, you will also have standard stainless steel pots and pans, of course, but some of the pots will have a unique twist as many Jewish Orthodox families will prefer to color code their pots and pans to really make it clear which one is for meat and which one is for milk. For us, we simply use different brands of stainless steel cookware with different designs to differentiate between milk and meat pots and pans. Another item you will find in a Jewish kitchenware store is an extended selection of what we call Netilat Yadayim, Keli or Bro in Sephardic circles, or Negel Vasser for our Ashkenazi brothers. We use them to wash our hands ritualistically after waking up or going to the bathroom, as well as before eating bread and after visiting a cemetery. In the morning, our Ashkenazi brothers will use the Negel Vasser placed at their bedside with a basin like these sets. And as Sephardic Jews, we usually do our first ritualistic washing of the hand in the kitchen, at the sink, or some will do it in the bathroom sink. As part of the essentials found in any good Jewish kitchenware store, you will find many gadgets useful for Shabbat, including covers for the light switches to avoid for anyone, and especially for the children, to turn on or off the lights during Shabbat and the holidays. Like in every kitchenware store, you will also find many, many small electric appliances like toasters, mixers, blenders, as well as special crock pots. Why are they so special, you may ask? It is because some Orthodox Jews will not use the classic crock pot like this one with a heating element that goes all the way up the sides of the electric base where you add the ceramic insert with the lid because it seems like one of the 39 melachot or work that are prohibited on Shabbat called hatmana. So they use these crock pot with only a heating element at the bottom and a simple pot put on top. This will lead us to the third item you will only find in the Jewish kitchenware store, and that is a hot water urn that is kosher for Shabbat. This hot water urn is so special because it has a Shabbat function that will not only allow the water not to be boiled on Shabbat, it also blocks all the electronic functions and without both of these beautiful extra functions, it would make it problematic to use such hot water urn on Shabbat. On a side note, I really prefer this model of hot water urn with a lockable push-down dispenser compared to the large hot water urn with a spout like this one, because the spout has no security features and were associated too many times with burn victims we received in our ER and ICU. So this is why I prefer to stick to these smaller hot water urn that are safer in my opinion, and especially with their blocked dispensing feature and lockable push down tops to avoid any issues. Another thing we do to beautify our Shabbat and Jewish holidays is using trays to hold our candle holders. They come in all sizes and shapes. They also are made of different material from glass to plastic to metal. 
Personally, we have the same plateau or tray since we have been married as it was part of our wedding gifts, thank God. Next to the trays, we have the fourth item you will only find in a Jewish kitchenware store, and that is the challah cutting board. They are special cutting boards that are usually made of glass or wood with silver or plated gold detailing. They often have special features like this one, where the knife is inserted within the thickness of the challah board, making it extra pretty and useful. On a side note, the challah board is one of the most common wedding present, so if you are invited to an engagement party or wedding, the challah board is a sure bet, because almost all Jewish celebration, whether a wedding, Shabbat, or Jewish holidays, besides Yom Kippur, of course, will include eating bread. And of course, if you want my super easy and delicious challah recipe, I will leave the link to the videos and the recipe in the description box below. And finally, the fifth and last item you will only find in a Jewish kitchenware store is a mikvah kelim or ritual pool of water where we dip our new kitchenware that are made of glass glazed china or metal. And if you want for me to do a separate video on the mikvah kelim and explain to you why we use them, please let me know in the comments below. And like the video I made on the mikvah or ritual Jewish bath used mostly by Jewish women, I will do one on the mikvah kelim with pleasure. I would love to know, what was your favorite item in the store? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here, it means the world to me, and know that in my book, by you being you, you make this world, and especially my world, a better place to live in. If you are here until the end, please write in the comments, I love miracles, because it is a true miracle for me to be with you again and be able to upload after all the trials and tribulation related to my YouTube channel being hacked for more than three months. And as always, if nobody told you today, know that you are loved and you are enough just the way you are. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.